Okay, the next step after we have them both faced, um, we want to go ahead and take our part and we want to put some blue dye. We just want to make just a stripe down this down one side of it. We don't have to like paint the entire thing. That's not what our goal is. Um, you know, so we've got this little bottle here. Um, this is dye, so anything it touches will be blue. Um, it may stay that way. Um, you know, so try not to get it on your hands. Try not to get it on your clothes. Uh, you know, I'm just going to do just like I said, just a, a little stripe. Um, it doesn't take anything more than that. Um, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Just one little stripe. That's all we need to do. Uh, again, don't waste it by painting it all over the place. Um, you know, just that one little stripe. That's it. So it takes you know a couple minutes for this to dry. Um, you know, two or three minutes. You know, depending on how thick you put it on there. If you put it on there really thick, it's going to take you longer than that. Um, you know, so now at this point, we just kind of wait for that to dry, and then we will use the height gauge to mark out our, our measurement. Um, remember, we can only do one measurement at a time. Um, so the longest measurement on this project was 2.75 inches. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll use this height gauge to do that. Um, it reads exactly the same as a um, dial caliper would, um, but you're looking at it, you know, underneath here for that, you know, edge to get your measurements off of. Okay, our part's now dry. It's been a couple minutes. Um, you know, we've got it faced off here so it's smooth at this point. So, you know, we're going to set it on top of this granite surface plate. Um, but, you know, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our height gauge is zeroed. You know, just like the calipers, you know, we have to close it up and make sure it's pointing at zero, um, you know, before we can do anything. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, lower this down here. Again, you don't, you don't want to go super fast with it. You know, slow and easy is fine. Um, get it down to the floor or down to the top of the surface plate. Um, you know, so I'm sitting at like 10 right there. So we need to change that thing. We're going to move it here to zero. And, you know, just barely put a little tension on that to make sure that stays. So we have to get a number of 2.75. So what I'm going to do is just raise this thing up here. Uh, you know, there's there's a couple different ways you could do this. So we've got it up. Um, you know, I'm at like 2.6 right there. You know, we want 750. So you know, I'm like 27. You know, sometimes the lines don't jive up perfectly with the uh, dial. Um, you know, so it's kind of important when you're doing this to pay attention here. You know, so right there, I'm at like 2745. Um, you know, we can start to see some of the eight right there. Um, but again, you know, the world's not a perfect place and neither is this pair of calipers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up this top portion and then we can use this little wheel here to adjust it to get it exactly a 250. Sometimes trying to slide it with your hand, your movements get a little bit too much um, to get it exactly where you want it. So we're 275 right now, 2.750 right now. So I'm gonna bring my part over here and I'm just gonna scratch a line in this. So we've got it set to 2.750 right now. So I'm just going to hold on to my part on the granite plate. I'm going to keep my part stationary and I'm going to move the height gauge. And you know, you may think, well, that's not much of a line right there. 
Um, but you know, when this thing's spinning 600 RPMs, you know, it's going to look like that line goes all the way around the entire circle. Um, again, you, you may not think so, um, but you know, that'll definitely show up on there. Um, you know, so now we, we know where our cut ends. So now at this point, you know, again, kind of double check to make sure the lid is on the bottle of a uh, die and um, you're, you're ready to go back to your lathe and you know start turning that first one down um, to uh, 0.875 diameter. Um, on the automatic feed, I would stop short of that line and you know move it in until you get to that line by hand. Um, you know, so again, you know, stop with about an eighth of an inch you know, but before that line and then you know, use your wheel to crank it in the rest of the way by hand. Um, the goal is to kind of just barely leave the line. We, we want to kind of keep that line. Um, that line is real thin. Um, you know, if, if, you keep, if you take away the line, well, we don't have a line anymore to know how far to go. Um, so you'll kind of leave that line right there. Uh, there will be another video um, doing just a step-by-step -step on the uh, machining process as well.